Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, you know, throughout the opening statements and, and certainly throughout the witnesses' opening comments, it's, there's a theme of the importance of recognizing global rule, rules and norms and um, understanding the mechanisms by which to resolve disputes. So you know, I think many of us um, in Congress have been concerned when we look at China's unilateral moves, whether in the East China Sea or, or in the South China Sea, which really go against international norms, you know, in unilateral moves, you know, whether it's uh, um, Scarborough Shoals or, you know, declaring a, a ADAs over the East China Sea, which really go outside the norms. So, you know, if we just think about the, the next steps and what is in our uh, toolbox um, as the United States to help de-escalate tensions, you know, I think it's reasonable to, to go ahead and, you know, you know, we should certainly, you know, I do wish we were part of UNCLOS. We're not, but we are um, going through the process of recognizing international norms and international mechanisms by which to resolve disputes. So ruling will come out shortly. Um, I think it behooves us to make sure as an international community, when we see that ruling, um, we do everything we can to enforce that ruling. Now, you know, what, what, what I would say is, you know, let, let's say that ruling is not the one um, China is looking for and they choose to ignore that ruling. You know, if we look at, I think, Ms. Willett, you talked about the, the tools that we have. We're already engaged diplomatically in the sense that, you know, we've gone to UNCLOS. I would consider that a diplomatic tool by which to resolve um, this dispute. We can continue to, to engage dip diplomatically, but we've already used that tool. None of us is in interested in, in a military or kinetic in, in engagement. We certainly are, are posturing by having some of our assets in the region. Um, and the importance of the size of the China Sea, the reason why you know, these small um, reclaimed islands are so important is that is one of the most important trade routes in, in the world right now. It is in, of incredibly economic um, importance to not only the United States, but to, to our allies in that region and, and the number of goods and that, that move through that region are incredibly important, so they're very strategic. We can try to use economic um, tools to get China back to the table, but the, the, the worry here is, you know, China increasingly is moving assets to that island, and, and the more assets they have, the harder it will be to move them off of those, those, those islands. And it is much easier for us to deal with this today than it will be a decade from now. So, you know, Mr. Denmark, what, out, outside of that, what are our options? Well, thank you, Congressman. I, I think you can understand why I would be um, reluctant to discuss military options. Sure. Um, to any degree of specificity in an open hearing. Um, what I do feel comfortable saying in, a, in an open setting um, is that we remain um, very committed um, to continue uh, to defend our, our allies, uh, to defend uh, critical principles um, that we see as necessary um, to uh, the continued peace and stability of the region, um, and to continue to uh, defend our, our national interests. Um, in terms of what happens after a uh, decision, um, I think I would uh, refer you to the, the statement that I submitted in that we see the military uh, role in this as being essential to uh, deter conflict, um, ensure that diplomacy has space to succeed. Um, and we're going to continue to, to play that role. And, and certainly there's no desire for a, a military option here. I mean, we, we want diplomacy and we certainly want China to understand that it's an China's economic benefit to have open um, sea, seaways and, and, and the, the free movement of goods and services. They obviously um, you know, see that as well. So, you know, from our perspective, let's hope, you know, adhering to international norms and, and international mechanisms by which to resolve dispute that China, you know, will, will, will take that mechanism as, as a, a member of UNCLOS and you know, adhere to what, whatever ruling we do, we do see next week. Again, otherwise I think we ought to come back into, into a joint committee here and really 
you know, send a strong message that you know, we've got to adhere to these international norms. So with that, I yield back.